It looks like there's like rolls, kind of like my stomach, like. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Mason Healy and thank you so much for coming back to my channel for another video. If you guys are new here, do me a quick favor and hit the subscribe button right now so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. Today I have a fun little video planned for you guys. I haven't done one of these in a while. I think I've only done like one video like this where I react to stuff that's like on the internet. But I thought we would like find something fun to react to and I was thinking we could do like optical illusions so you guys could like play along with me at home and see if you see the optical illusions and it can be like fun and cool and I don't know. I just wanted to to do like a little bit of a change of pace and I know that a lot of people like these videos so I thought I would try it out and yeah let's jump into today's video 25 optical illusions that are oh it says 25 insane optical illusions that will leave you dazed and confused Whoa, bro. so it's gonna be a wild time and I just couldn't be more excited honestly <laughs> All right, number 25 is rotating rings. If you stare at the dot in the center and move your head away from the screen, the rings will start to rotate. Now gradually get closer again, they change direction. Okay, so I'm gonna stare, do I stare at the dot in the center? Okay, yeah, stare at the dot in the center and then look away, stare at the dot in the center. <laughs> How long? This is, oh, whoa, whoa, <gasps> no. What? You go like this, oh my God, go like, guys, do this. Go like this on your screen while you're looking at the dots, and it's weird. They rotate. Whoa. You look like an idiot. Can I feel like I should be like a stoner right now. I feel like I should be on drugs while I do this. And your little sister wants to be in a video too. Okay, number 24 is the Herman grid. The She-Man woman hater grid. This is a classic optical illusion named after Ludemar Herman, who discovered it in 1870. At every point where the white lines intersect, our eyes perceive, I can already see it, our eyes perceive a gray shadowy blob. If you look directly at one of the intersections though, the blob disappears. Whoa, yeah, I've seen this one before for sure. Have you guys all seen this one? Oh my gosh, there's blobs everywhere and then you look at them and they disappear. How does this work? Shook. Oh. Fading image, this one looks cool. Stare at the image for about half a minute without moving your eyes and watch as it gradually disappears. So I just stare at this and it's gonna start fading. Whoa, it's starting to go white. It actually is fading. Like at first it was so colorful and there's like a lot going on, but now the more I stare at it, it's like, <gasps> no, now it's all doing it. You know what it looks like? It looks like you're just staring at a white thing. That's weird. Guys, pause the video at this part and like stare at this for like a good 30 seconds. On, that I one's weird. Okay, number 22 is the Kinesa Triangle. The Kinesa Triangle was named after the psychologist Gaetano Kinesa, who first described its effect. When you look at the image, your brain creates contours. This is not a beauty guru channel of a triangle, although none exist. Whoa. Okay, so this triangle doesn't even exist but I can see it for sure. <gasps> Dun dun dun. Okay, next up is number 21, the Blivet. What the fu- No! I think I've seen this one before, but oh my god. This is one of the most famous optical illusion pictures of an impossible object. It has two rectangular prongs at one end that morph into three cylindrical prongs at the other. <gasps> How? Oh my god, like how does that, how does this, where is that coming from? I'm so confused. Uh, it like, it gives me anxiety, it stresses me out. That one's weird, oh my god. Okay, next up on our list is number 20, the monster illusion. Found in virtually every psychology textbook in the world, the two monsters in this optical illusion are in fact the same size, no! That's a lie, that's for sure, it has to be a lie. Your brain automatically adjusts images that it perceives to be distant in order to compensate for the fact that they are larger than they seem. Oh my god. Hold on, I'm like measuring. Ah, oh, they're the same size? That's weird. Oh my gosh, okay, that one's cool. Number 19, I've seen this one, the Jostrow illusion. Named after Robert Jostrow in 1889, the bottom figure appears to be larger, although they are both the same size. No, this kind of like makes me like ornery because I'm like, I can see exactly what's happening and I know that that one's bigger. The second one's bigger for sure. Like that has to be like, there's no way that it's not. Like I am so confused and it makes me mad. I'm grumpy now. Hold on, let me measure with my fingers. <gasps> it's the same. Oh my God. This is like a very spiritual lesson I feel like because I feel like we're learning that everything is not as as <laughs> Everything is not as it seems. You know what I mean? Like, I think our minds and our brains do so much to us and our eyes and our senses and life is crazy and we're all gonna die one day. Number 18 is the Fraser Spryer. Why can't I talk? 
Number 18 is the Fraser Spiral. First described by British psychologist James Fraser in 1908, this illusion is also known as the False Spiral. While it appears that the overlapping arcs are spiraling into infinity, they are in fact only a series of concentric circles. Hunty, I don't know what this means. Oh. Wait, I don't think I get this one. So these are all circles that I'm seeing? Oh, I think I get that one, but it's dumb. Okay, number 17, scintillating grid. This is like the exact same thing as the other one. This is a very, I knew it. This is a variation of the Hermann grid where black dots appear and disappear at the intersecting of the gray lines. Interestingly enough, if you cock your head, <laughs> if you cock your head at a 45 degree angle, the effect is reduced but not eliminated. These are all Whoa, oh my gosh. That's true. Number 16, blue versus green. Oh my God, this is like an 80s, 90s poster and I'm living for it, I love it. There are several variations to this optical illusion but the effect is the same. The blue and the green backgrounds are in fact the same color. <gasps> no. That one's like a minty one and that one's like sky blue. I'm confused. Oh wait, I see them as the same color for some reason. Well, aren't you just optically special? Number 15 is the Endless Staircase. This one's sick. Oh my god. Whoa! This is so weird! This is a variation of the Endless Staircase optical illusion constructed out of Legos, like the Blivet. This is also an impossible object and is sometimes called the Penrose Triangle. Oh. My. Goo goo. That is crazy. <sighs> Do these like stress you guys out? Cause this is like giving me anxiety. Um, let's pick it up a little bit. Oh, this is the Jesus one. Black on white. I remember getting this in church when I was a little kid and I feel like I probably should not be looking at this one because I feel like I shouldn't even be looking in the eyes of Jesus after the sins I've committed. Um, stare at the center of the image for about 30 seconds and then look away, preferably at a white surface. Guys, if you're watching this at home, you can pause the video too um, and do these along with me. But now we're gonna look up and we're gonna see Jesus. Oh my God, it's Jesus Christ. I believe I am converted. Okay, um, number 13 is the Zollner illusion. This optical illusion was named after Johann Carl Frederick Zollner and consists of parallel lines that appear to be diagonal. No way. This is so strange. They're de it, it's definitely diagonal. Okay, number 12 is the herring illusion. So, although the two red lines seem to be bowed outwards, they are perfectly straight and parallel. This optical illusion, blah, blah, blah. Oh, they do look like they're going like this. <laughs> this is an interesting optical illusion and I'm sure most of you have seen this before. <laughs> Ooh, that looks cool too. <gasps> Number 11 is the Titchener, the Titchener circles, also known as the blah blah blah. This There is still a debate in psychological circles as to the exact mechanism and implication of this effect. Essentially, the orange circle on the left appears to be smaller than the orange one on the right, although they are the same size. No! <gasps> That's cool. Oh my god. We are on the final 10. Number 10 is the Leaning Tower. Yes, the Leaning Tower of Pisa does actually lean, but these two images are in fact one of the same. Although the image on the right appears to be leaning away from the one on the left, this is only in your head. Go ahead and try the same thing with the Empire State Building. It will lean too, I promise. How? What, what, why? Oh my god, the, the, the one on the right is for sure going like this. Okay, number nine is the wonder block. Yet again, we have an example of an impossible object. Oh, these ones are weird. But this one, I feel like is not as believable because there's a hand covering like the middle part. So I feel like you can't really trust it. I think this one's fake and I'm gonna say that it's fake. Okay, number eight is floating stairs. This one's cool. For centuries, artists have been pushing our perceptual limits, and if you get lucky enough, from the right angle, you may just catch a glimpse into the practical artistic applications of optical illusions and the way our mind interprets them. That one's dope. Number seven is the spinning silhouette. Created by web designer blah blah blah, some people at first see the figure spinning clockwise, while others see it spinning counterclockwise. I see her going clockwise. So you guys have to tell me what you see because I see her going clockwise, but I think I've done this before and I think I can switch it in my head. It's still not working, never mind. Number six is up and down. Although it's obvious that the pillars in this optical illusion GIF are staying in the same horizontal position, our brain is convinced that they should be moving to the right. No, that's weird. It's like my eyes want them to like pull this way, but my eyes like have to stay in the same place because they're staying in the same place. But it definitely looks like it's like going like this. Number five is rotating squares. At first this optical illusion picture may be hard to see, but if you begin to scan back and forth across the image, you will notice that the squares in your periphery begin to rotate. As soon as your eyes stop moving, however, rotation will cease. Whoa, 
Oh my gosh. Ah, whoa. Number four is static motion. No, this is not an optical illusion GIF. The image really is static. Notice that when you look at any individual point dead on, it will stop moving. This powerful optical illusion is derived from interacting color contrast and shape positions within the image. It looks like there's like rolls. Kind of like my stomach. Oh, but if you do like stare at one spot, it does stop moving. <gasps> ah, that's weird. Oh my gosh, that definitely seems like a gift. That's crazy. Okay, number three is the lilac chaser, also known as the Pac-Man illusion. If you stare at the center cross for a couple of seconds, you'll begin to perceive a green disco going around the circle. <gasps> Oh, that one works fast. There's no green dot though, like if you look at it. Whoa, bro. Number two is the cafe illusion, another famous optical illusion. This one was recently rediscovered in a cafe while at the bottom of St. Michael's Hill. Although the lines appear to be diverging from one another, they are in fact quite parallel. Ah, this makes my stomach hurt kind of. Like, I know, my tummy hurts too. <laughs> from the optical illusions? No. Or from Taco Bell? All right, and last, but definitely not least, is the Checo Shattered <laughs> the Checo Shatter! <laughs> Probably one of the most unbelievable illusions out there. This one, this was one of the first optical illusions. Blah. Although the square labeled A appears to be darker than the square labeled B, they're actually the exact same shade of gray. No! That one definitely is a good finishing one. A and B, it's gray and white. Those are totally different. Those have to be different. This is wild. I'm just stunned at this. Wow, I actually had a lot more fun filming this video than I thought. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up right now. Comment the word optical illusions below so I know you made it to this point in the video. I do have one $10 Amazon gift card code hidden in this video somewhere. See if you can find it, and if you do, then redeem it and go Where shopping. I don't know where it's gonna be, it's gonna be hidden. Guys, let me know if you like these little hidden gift card code games. I wanna know what you think. I don't wanna like do this if it's like annoying to you and if you're not enjoying it, but if you enjoy like having like hidden stuff throughout the video, then I wanna keep doing it, so let me know. Other than that, if you have not done so yet, make sure you hit subscribe right now because I make new videos every single week, so I'll see you next time. All right, goodbye!